I think um, in the book, I talk about Jesus's discipleship strategy. My book is kind of a one trick pony. It's like mm. learn from Jesus, imitate Jesus mm -hmm. as we're empowered by the Holy Spirit. And so Jesus's yeah. discipleship strategy, how I describe it um, is kind of from an educational standpoint. When I was writing the book, I talked to a good friend of mine who's an educator and I said like, how would you describe Jesus's discipleship strategy from an educator? Because yeah. Jesus was a great teacher from a pedagogical or educational standpoint. Yeah. And she said his didactic <laughs> was grounded in the pedagogical structure of I do, we do, mm. you do. In other words, mm. Jesus was a great teacher and that's how he taught, right? Yeah. He would, he would, you know, we see in the gospels this I do, we do, you do program, right? Where he... Yeah. People encounter him, they encounter his, encounter his power, his proclamation, um, they watch him work miracles mm -hmm. and they learn. And like, and that's, I, you know, a pretty elementary principle. Some of us mm -hmm. learn by imitation. It's like, mm -hmm. that's how, you know, you, you read to your kids and they learn to read by watching you read, right? But that's not the only way to teach. And that's also yeah. not the best way to teach because I think Jesus understands how we learn. And so Jesus doesn't just do the I do miracles where he's just like, you know, touching lepers and uh, turning water into wine. He then does we do miracles yeah. where he invites the disciples to join him in the miracle. One of my favorite we do miracles is in John chapter 11, where Jesus resurrects Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. And then tells everybody who's watching the miracle, now you guys unwrap him because it's a two-part miracle. Yeah. I'm going to raise him. I'm going to do the resurrecting, yeah. but you guys are going to yeah. unwrap him and unravel yeah. him from everything that's associated yeah. with death. And that, one, here's another one. Uh -huh. uh, on, the, on, a, on a rural countryside, on a really uh, balmy day, I would imagine Jesus you know, creates this fish fry miracle, right? Mm -hmm. That he teaches, uh, he's teaching, there's a long day of teaching. And at the end of the day, the disciples say, the people are hungry, so let's send them to get some food. And Jesus goes, no, you guys feed them. And they're like, what are you talking about? We really don't have much. And Jesus produces this abundance yeah. of food, but then he tells the disciples, you guys hand it out. You yeah. guys distribute it. You guys literally be my hands and my feet. Mm -hmm. And so there's mm -hmm. many more um, uh, examples of that in the scripture, but for time's sake, like, those miracles and that I do, we do, and then eventually you do. Like I'm yeah. leaving y'all, and then I'm gonna yeah. give you guys the Holy Spirit. But I'm st it's still kind of a we do, it's still a we do miracle because yeah, sure. I'm working through you through the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. I begin to see discipleship as what I call a holy collaboration. 